Hey guys, what is going on? And welcome to another Pi Open GL tutorial video. What we're going to be talking about now is how we define the vertices or nodes of, uh, of whatever object we happen to be drawing in Pi Open GL. So I have lost my mouse. Oh, there it is. Okay. So I've got four monitors. So sometimes my mouse just goes missing. <laughs> anyway, so vertices, vertices. Vertices is going to equal a big old list of all of our nodes. And it's important uh, that the vertices are in proper order. And I'll show you later on down the road why that is important. Um, but if you go back, uh, when we go back, you'll see that like you, these have to be in perfect order because what PyOpenGL is going to do is it's going to draw like each one and it's going to connect the dots. And it's kind of like drawing the polygons in PyGame where we drew the polygon and we might think, oh, we drew a, a, a pentagon. But no, we did not. <laughs> we drew, I don't know, some crisscrossed thing. So keep that in mind. So for now, uh, we'll just leave this like this. But think of it like, you know, you've got your X, your Y, and your Z. So you have to like visualize it in your head and be like, okay, well, how might we do it? So like, here's our cube um, from before. Let's go ahead and delete this. It's going to drive me nuts. Oh my gosh, I can't even delete it. Where's my eraser? <laughs> and then we got a line here. So consider that you have um, you've got an axis that looks like this you know and and then your z axis and so you have to kind of think to yourself and we're going to be talking about in units um, so you have to think to yourself like okay well this would be um, you know basically at the front so we would call this a one let's say so this would be one um, and then in relation to the rest, it would be kind of like a one, negative one, negative one, and, and so on. It just depends, like it's basically, you just think of it in your head as um, just in relation to the other one. So just draw one node and then do the math for the rest of the nodes. So uh, we'll not save this. And so our first node, uh, so this will be a, a tuple of tuples. Um, so we'll put the first one here. And, and in fact, actually, let's put it right here. So we've got a tuple. And because it's a, a cube, how many uh, uh, closed out of it already? How many uh, vertices might we have? Good answer, group eight. So <laughs> let's go ahead and highlight this. So copy two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's like Dora the Explorer, right? I talk to you guys, even though I can't hear you. So now we specify the coordinates, but we're going to treat this like like uh, like units. So just just think of it as like a unit, but. I guess you could think of it as like ones and coordinates too. So anyways, this will be one, negative one, negative one. The next one will be one, one, negative one. The next one will be negative one, one, negative one. The next one will just be all negative one. So negative one, negative one, negative one, right? So what have we modified there? We've moved our y. Here, what did we modify? Well, we moved our uh, our y as well. So just keep that in mind. Just try to visualize where these coordinates would be. So negative one, negative one, negative one. Uh, then we've got one, negative one, one. Then one, one, one. Uh, then negative one, negative one, one. And then finally, you've got negative one, one, and one. So these are all of the vertices. And again, they have to be in order, and I'll show you why later on. Then, after vertices, you've got the edges. And so here, again, edges is, can be slightly more confusing. So I would just suggest that you simply follow probably here, and then we'll, we'll, we'll come back to that. But um, again, let's, let's open up uh, good old paint here. I really should have just left this open since we're drawing a bunch of cubes. I'll try to be fast. Paint should just have like a cube option. That'd be kind of cool. Pi open GL or uh, <laughs> yeah, they really should have like a cube option there as well. Like specify a cube and then size and be done with it. Okay, so how many edges do we actually have here? Right, we've got one edge, two edge, three edge, four edge, five edge, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve edges. Okay. So we're going to need 12 edges to this square, or this cube rather, otherwise we're going to be in trouble. So uh, let's create the edges. So 0, 1, um, 
This is gonna be kind of a long list, but that's okay. Uh, comma. So that that was uh, one. This is two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay. Zero one, uh, zero three, zero two four. Uh, then you've got uh, two to one. Then you would have two to three. Uh, then you'd have two to seven. Then you'd have six to three. Uh, then you'd have six to four. And then finally six to seven. Then you'd have five to one, five to four, and five to seven. And what these are is basically your, your edges between nodes um, or vertices. So these, you could sort of get away with unordering them, but generally you would do the smallest to the smallest to the largest, right? And then the next one up and the next one up, just to make it understandable to anybody who might be reading this. So those are your edges. So now we've got our, our nodes and our edges. And for the most part, once you have that down, that's the most like seriously taxing mental work you'll have to do um, as far as visualizing how your cube should be oriented and then drawing the lines to all the, from like all the points or all the nodes. Um, once you've done that, then you just need to know how to code the OpenGL code and you'll have yourself a lovely cube or whatever the heck you happen to want to draw. So anyways, uh, stay tuned in the next video. We'll actually start uh, writing the code that is required to make this come out. So stay tuned for that and thanks for watching.